Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restoration. So on the roundabout today, we've got our monthly dibs build and it's our Christmas build. So anyway, um, I have an idea what I want to do with this. This is a really cool casting. I actually just bought this at the store the other day. And it's just an old van and I like the old vans. They're Big canvas, and you can do a lot with them. So let's see what we've got here. Those look like a Scrabble van. And I don't know if it has anything. There it goes. A 70s van. 1974. Uh, this is obviously not made in 1974 because it's brand new. So anyway, so there's Mattel on the side. And the big N. No idea what that is. But anyway, interesting uh, casting from Hot Wheels. So, uh, let's have a good time. Let's see if we can get this thing looking Christmassy. All right, folks, stick around. All right, let's get the uh, Christmas van to the maintenance floor. Here we go. Just like in the opening clip. And I'm going to bet there's no interior. Look at that. How did I guess? And let me see here. All right, that's it. Interior, axle, and the van body. All right, folks, I'm going to drill a couple of holes and uh, get this thing in the stripper. All right, I got a little battle wound from the wandering drill, but eh, sometimes a little blood must be spilt, folks. All right, stick around. Ooh, just, I just hit that uh, camera. All right, stick around. All right, before we take a look at the final reveal, let's see what I started with. I started with a Hot Wheels 70s van right out of the package. All right, let's see where I ended up. All right, folks, it is time for my reveal for my monthly dibs build. And this is a Christmas theme, and I really wasn't too sure what to do at all. Um, I don't know. Uh, sometimes I just like to paint them in Christmas colors. And... So this is what I did for this one. Let's take a closer look at it. So on the side here, we got some snowflakes and we went classic Coca-Cola. There's that. And then on the front, I did the uh, grill in green. It's kind of hard. There it is. Kind of looks like black, but it's green. With the lights, turn signals. And here's the other side. There you go, folks. Here it is. My van dibs build. So let me know what you think about it. So, um, recently I have been acquiring some new Matchbox cars. And our grocery store here is Fry's. And Fry's is owned by Kroger. And they are now selling, I'm sure you guys have seen these. Matchbox cars in the box. I remember when I was a kid, they used to come in boxes. So, um, these are a buck 18 a car, which I think is pretty cheap. And they come in, let me see here, uh, out of a hundred. So, there's a hundred in the set. I don't know if I'll get them all, but anyway, I thought I would show these on this video. So, let me open them up. If I can, I don't want to damage the box too much. So these are actually brand new. I've never opened them. So let me move that over there. And let me see if I can open this without cutting myself. I know I could heat it up, but I don't know. I'm trying to open up the box without uh, tearing it up too bad. 
I guess I'll just open it up like this and then tape it back up if I have to. There we go. All right, so if I ever want to seal it, there you go. So we'll see how they package these bad boys. So this is a first for me. I've never bought one of these, so let's take it out of the box. There we go. I got it wrapped in paper. There we go. And this is the Morris Mini, I think is what it said. Uh, Morris Minor Saloon Car. So there's that one. Pretty cool. And I bought six of them. And let me see here. Open up this one. That one opened up pretty easy. And this one is the 1941 Plymouth Coupe. Here. Of course, I'm going to save the boxes because that's part of the deal. There's that one. Very cool. I'll tell you one thing. They still are doing some really good detail in these cars. This is one of my favorites right here. The 1970 Ford Ranchero, 17 out of 100. It'd be nice to get all 100 of them. All right, open it up. I like how they wrap them up, though. That's pretty cool. And here it is. The Ranchero. Look at the detail. Pretty incredible. And that box is still doing it. 70 years later. And I saw this one. I had to have this one. The 65 Ford C900. Number 18 of 100. I'll probably, as I buy these after each video, I'll kind of open them up and yeah, let's see here. This one was the first one I got. go. I'm sure it's got a trailer in there somewhere. There's that one. Almost done. Two more. There's that one. This one is the Land Rover Defender 90, 2020 version. Very cool. I love the see-through top. All right, and then last but not least, we've got a Fiat Turbo. All right. the Fiat Turbo. All right, folks, let me know what you think about the way Matchbox is doing things nowadays. I think it's really cool. It's kind of bringing back the memories of uh, when we were kids. Let me line them up. There they are. That's my first six. I don't know if I'll get a chance to get all 100 of them, but I'll piece them together. All right, folks. Thank you for watching this and your patience as I unbox them. I've been wanting to do it for a while. So anyway, got a lot of good videos coming down the pipeline. And uh, next month is our dibs build in January, January 5th. I don't have the list in front of me. 
but be sure to check out our build schedule on Somo Diecast channel. And what else? I think that's about it, folks. All right. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. That's all, folks.